So over the last couple of weeks, I've taken a look at the function memoization feature in Lucy CFML, essentially the ability to add a cached within directive to any function call, which will then cache the outputs of the call based on consistent inputs. Now, I've only to date looked at how this works with a user-defined function or first class function in Lucy CFML. And today what I want to demonstrate is that the cache within directive also can be applied to cold fusion closures, which are function expressions, not function declarations. So to demonstrate, uh, I have this get random function, get random value function, which can take an optional max value. And I'll just do a rand range between one and the max value. Uh, I'm just trying to get something that has a variation in its output. Then I create a user-defined function, memoize for request, which is going to take any function callback. So what I'm going to be doing is passing this value into this function. And you can see that this function returns a cold fusion closure. Now notice that I'm applying the cached within request directive to the closure itself. Now note that I have to use the more traditional function um, syntax here. I can't use, for example, the fat arrow function, or at least I couldn't figure out a way to, to make that work. So I had to fall back to the traditional function. Uh, again, applying the cache within request to this, which turns around and just invokes the callback passed into the memoize for request function. Now to test this, I'm going to first use a, a base test. So I'm going to call the, the naked function get random value several times in a row. And what we should see is that each one of these calls returns a different random value or a random value which is probably going to be different in each case. Then I'm going to take that random value function, I'm going to pass it to the memoize for request, getting my closure. Now this closure is a function that I can invoke, but it is using the cached within request directive, which means that when I call this five times in a row with the same input, I should get the same cached output. And of course, if the input changes, changing from 50 to 100, I should get a different output because it's caching a different result. And if we jump over into the browser and we call this, we can see that our base test here, calling that get random value function directly, returns a new random function, or sorry, a new random value on each function invocation. However, when we call that same, when we call the caching proxy, the same uh, with the same inputs, right? When we call it with the same inputs here we get a cached value, 25, and we get that 25 five times in a row. Of course, when we change the input to the caching proxy from 50 to 100, we essentially have a cache hit, which means that Cold Fusion has to cache a new value and return it. In that case, it's 87. So, to be honest, I don't have a great use case for this right off the top of my head, but it is nice to know that the cache within directive can be applied to a Cold Fusion closure which means essentially that we can create on-the-fly caching for any user-defined function call without having to explicitly manage an in-memory cache. Uh, we can just lean on the functionality that Lucy CFML is providing out of the box, which is kind of cool. I can, I can definitely see this being helpful, but again, I just don't have the perfect use case off the top of my head.